Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I'm Carex, and we're back with some more Democracy 4, where we are playing as the President of the United States, working on creating a conservative theocracy of America over here. We have 34 political capital. I'd really like to use some of this political capital in order to do some of these uh, maneuvers where we could actually start teaching fundamentalism uh, in schools, which would be huge. Uh, liberals would be very upset about that, but that's just how it goes. That's 25 political capital if we did that. Or what we could do is we could go to faith school subsidies. Here it is. Now it cost us 10 billion, but it'd be totally worth it. Hmm. How much does that one cost us? Actually, let's double check that really quick. How much political capital? 30, ooh, 30, uh, a lot, a lot. I think, I think we want to do this. I think it's time. Let's do this. Let's go in full. Actually, is it going to cost us anything, which is nice. There we go. So we are now teaching fundamentalism in um in schools perfect let's uh this is going to go away next turn that's great that's going to reduce that's going to make the conservatives happy it's going to make everybody happy it's going to reduce crime as well which is great um we have a health issue so what we could do with our nine political capital is we could go in here and we could try to do some more stuff to help with obesity and stuff like that there was something in here for health food subsidies a junk food tax actually could be quite good Let's implement a junk food tax. Although it really fights obesity heavily. It's not, yeah, I don't know. Some of these taxes though aren't necessarily, I mean, I think idealistically, I'm just thinking how um, thematic something like that would be in this kind of a society. Maybe not. Um, although I do think we have to deal with the crises that we have, right? We do have to deal with the crises we have. We can't just live with these things. So also that's going to help with health, isn't it? Yeah. Health goes up. Health goes up. Um, this is going down slightly. So Dr. Strike should go away. Dr. Strike right now is pushing down health and, and making parents upset. Was this going to cost us political capital to get rid of this? It was, wasn't it? At 60 political capital, get rid of the uh, state health services. I do think we do want to do that, though. We do want to do that. I think we also want to raise up uh, taxes for tobacco as well. These are temptations of the devil, and we must remove them. Next phase, next turn. Deadly virus outbreak. Man, this is too real. Um, tourism goes down 62%. That's going to have a... Holy cow, this is not good. Holy cow, GDP ate down eight percent. What the heck? We're getting hammered over here. We are getting hammered over here. Does that just go away? Like, is that just for one phase? That's that's awful. That is awful. You know, one thing that can help us with the uncompetitive economy, because we're pretty close to getting that to go away, anyways, is the um is the import tariffs. It would cost us up to uh, 13 to implement it though. 13 to implement. Import tariffs, capitalists like these, patriots like these, unemployment goes down, international trade goes down, uncompetitive economy goes down. This is this is just, fan this is just a really fantastic. It, it brings some, uh, you get some income from this as well. Although it looks like we did not, we oh no we did we did end up maxing it. Nice, good, good, good. Uncompetitive. Look at that. Look at that effect on the uncompetitive economy. Oof. International trade though with a big hit there. Oh, capitalists like this if you get if you go the other direction and you promote international trade. Duh. It doesn't make any sense. Of course, like 
Yeah, never mind. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I should have. I, I thought it was weird that it said that, but the patriots really like this. And, uh, you know, religious patriots, uh, conservative patriots, that's kind of what we're going for even a little bit more than the capitalists. We have seven political capital. We could just bank this seven. Gay marriage, we're going to have to get rid of that thematically. Um, whoa. We got all kinds of crazy stuff over here in the United States. I, I'm teasing. Um, but we... In the world that we're living, right? Some of these things we're going to want to uh, remove, uh, potentially, as we uh, have political capital to do so. Actually, I'm kind of curious, actually. We could raise the alcohol. Strong restrictions. I, quite honestly, I don't think, um, I don't think that's necessarily thematic, number one. And number two is, I, I don't think it's going to be worth the time to do that. It just makes everybody upset. Um, I think we're going to bank the seven. We're going to bank the seven. Let's look at our cabinet here, though. Some of these people are, um, we can't reshuffle with only ten. If I fire this person... Doesn't everybody else get upset? No, I think I think we I think we're just gonna we're gonna need to do a reshuffle next turn. Gonna need to do a reshuffle. Positive discrimination. There are calls for a law to expressively set quotas for employment of ethnic over minorities by large corporations and government institutions. This would put pressure on companies to give higher priority of the same job candidates th than others on the basis of, of race, sex, or age. Reject the law. Deeply flawed. Conservatives love that. Okay. Let's reshuffle the cabinet. Foreign policy. Who's going to be in charge of foreign policy? Who actually likes foreign policy? This person does. A 1.4 there. A 1.9. But they're into other things 1.2 1 1.4 1 1.4 1 1.6 there we go let's get him on oh capitalists like a middle income like so that, that's good that's good for sure this person's a 1.9 that's all about the welfare we don't have that many oh there's a there's a 2.2 but she could be slotted into these other things as well I think we're going to put the 1.9 in here. There's a 1.9 for economy. I'm just looking at the political capital to gain per turn and whether the economy just means that they, I think that means that they like that job. They're like, that they'll be happy to, to do that job. Tax, 2.2 for tax. There we go. Parents of commuters. Sounds good to me. Probably have a lot of parents. Where's that other 2.2? Public services? Good. Law and order. Law and order. Oof. Transportation. We might get a we might have to do a 1.4 here. Unless we just take whoever has the highest. We got a 1.6. That has really good, strong campaigning, loyalty, and experience. Um, parents, motorists. We have a lot of motorists in the country. What, like 40%? Patriots and liberals. I mean, adding some of the... Yeah, let's, let's, let's do this. Add this person. It's not exactly the job she wanted, but that's okay. So next turn, we should get like a ton of political capital. Hopefully. Hopefully. Is 13 enough to reduce this down? No, it's not. We're a little short. Little short. Uh, what can we do here? We could do like a, a an armed services day. Or do we already have something like that? We already have something like that. We could boost this all the way to the max. Six political capital. I like it. Um, make the patriots happy and make more patriots. Seven. What are we doing here? Obesity is tanking. That's good. Uh, this is still a problem. We need to get rid of the public. Uh, we need to get rid of the public health services. 
respiratory disease is going down. We know health is going to take a dive here. Police force. Uh, let's look at our policing a little bit, actually. Let's look at our policing here. Okay, armed police is already maxed. Everybody's running around with at least submachine guns. It's good. We could increase spying. Patriots love this. Private space industry goes up. Yes, I like that. For four political capital, that's that's good. Let's make sure we're doing our, our intelligence services, I guess. That's not necessarily the same as spying. Where is our uh, body cameras? I'm sure we don't need body cameras on the... Oh, there's really no benefit to this. Removes corruption. This is just all good. Racial tension, corruption. Trade unionists don't like it, though. Conservatives don't like it. Okay, so, this, so that is, yeah. Something to consider, maybe, getting rid of in the future or something. I don't know. Where is our, like, uh, our, our sort of NSA? It's our police force itself. Police force. Oh, why is there... Wait a second. <laughs> why? Every government needs employee. Why is there a police force way down here? <laughs> I'm confused. Is this is this accurate? Why does it only cost four political capital to go all the way up to the top on this? Conservatives will love this. State employees, which means employment's going to go down. Corruption goes down. This is amazing. Why why do we not have that like? Cancel. I'm going to just uh, sort of get it up there, but I don't know why the police force is so low uh, to start, like, by default. That seems weird to me. Death penalty. Isn't there something in here for, NS like, the NSA, like, spying? Maybe you have to activate it here. Curfews? Ooh, interesting. Mandatory microchip implant? Holy cow, there's some cool stuff in here. Torture. Wire tapping. Interesting, interesting. Detention without trial. There's some good stuff in there for our conservative utopia. Um, okay. And, and a hard on crime sort of... Uh, Yeah, that, that virus outbreak just destroyed us. So now we have hospital overcrowding has enacted, like like it's kicked in. It's kicked in. Major a donor abandons the party. That's how it goes, I guess. We're now running a $150 billion deficit. What the heck happened? It just went from like 10 to 100. Is that that's because of the virus, right? Our economy just went tanked on us. Absolutely tanked on us. 19 political capital. What do we do with this 19? This is coming down. It's going to keep coming down. Junk food tax is still kicking in. Respiratory de disease. Tobacco use. Okay, we could we could raise the tax uh, for the tobacco. We talked about this, but unfortunately, we don't have the political capital to actually do that. What is our max political capital right now? Um, we get 19. 36 is the max, which would be barely enough to get this all the way to the top. Yikes. Competitive economy should go away, and that should be a big boost to GDP. That's going to be going away next turn, thanks to the tariffs, uh, import tariffs. If we're getting 18 per turn, we add that. We're, we need to spend at least like one. We need to spend a couple, just one or two uh, political capital. Yeah, our tourism just dive bombed. Tobacco awareness campaign. Perfect. Done. Spreading the fake news. Whoa, a school shooting. Holy cow. Parents, 50% there. 
That is crazy. Economic forecast. So the global economy was doing well. And I think we were we were benefiting from that. It looks like it's actually going down a little bit now. Our debt's going up. Our GDP went down because of that. I think that virus took a dive for us. We took a dive because of the virus. Oh no. Let's apply this change. But we lost a little bit of political capital because our maximum went... Oh no, it says maximum is 36. Okay, I guess it was fine. That's fine. Um, we have three to spend. I don't know if there's anything in here we could do for three. Are we to... A business startup? Okay. Self-employed goes up. Self-employed membership capitalists. Socialists don't like this. National Business Council. Why not? It's cheap and easy. Let's do it. Okay. We're, we're not even halfway through our term yet, guys. We're, we're doing okay. We're moving and grooving here. We're just... A safeguard oil supply. Okay. This is... This is representatives for the oil companies based on our, our country have requested based in our country, sorry, have requested that the government deploy troops overseas at our oil refineries in the Middle East to protect them from attack by terrorists. The governments involved are happy for our troops to be stationed on their soil for this purpose. Send the troops. I don't even need to read the descriptions. No. Send the troops. Deploy, deploy, deploy. Protect the oil. So where's, where's like... Um, Liberals are getting, I mean, liberals have just, they don't like us. They do not like us. That is the truth. Where are the liberals? Actually, liberals are still like 50-50 with us, opinion-wise. They, they don't hate us that much. That's crazy to me. Because uh, we've been hammering them. We've been hammering them. 17 political capital, what can we do? Our deficit is not doing so well. I don't know why that just, like, just absolutely went berserk on us like we were doing great with the raising of the tobacco tax we should be making money off the deficit i know am i am i misread that that says eight billion not 80 billion so i don't know doing that should not have affected things that much i mean i'd like to raise this up even more i don't know it's also interesting that it takes so little political capital to do that surprised we're not going to have like a prison overcrowding issue. Okay, we got to think about this for a quick second here, guys. Is GDP going up right now? It's going down slightly. Technology advantage. We uh, we want to hold on to that too. It dipped, but it's 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 okay. I think we hold on to it as long as it doesn't go below this this uh this green. The uncompetitive economy should be getting removed next. Yep. Next turn, it, it's going to be uh, removed. And and some of these negative effects will go away. Capitalists, are you guys liking us? The poor, actually, what the heck? The poor love us. We've raised taxes on tobacco and alcohol. That usually negatively, have, and, and junk food tax. That usually is things that very much hurt the poor, usually. Yeah, the poor don't like that. What are we doing that the poor are, are all, like, cheering for? I guess just a lot of things that we already have enacted. State schools. What is state schools? It save us billions of dollars to cut education funding. Everybody likes education, though. It reduces poverty, unemployment... Capitalists don't like it though. They want private schools. They want everything. They want. They want the school system to be privatized, in the most extreme sense. And we're spending 150 billion on this, <laughs> and we know that our private schools are a uh, pipeline to uh, to more religious conservatives. 
which is good for us because that's who we're trying to appeal to. Where are the uh, where are the religious? A uh, religious here, yeah. They do like us more than not. They do like us mostly, and they're they they are making up a large chunk of the actual society as well. So we're teaching fundamentalism in school. I do want to be increasing this, but I kind of want to be able to do it in one swoop. What's our maximum political capital? 32 is the max. How much do we need to go all the way to the top here? 33. That's yikes. That's annoying. Well, we could just move it as much as we can. It's going to make a difference either way. There's, there's got to be some other things we could do. How do we, how do we bring back the economy? The yeah, GDP falling that much has, has hurt us, has hurt us. Deadly virus. Is this still going? The deadly virus outbreak is is still uh, going apparently. Yeah, our tourism is just zilch. Look at that, look at that. That's huge. How do you how do, like how do we how do we defeat the deadly virus? I don't I don't understand that. Was there a contextual reason why that was actually uh, why that actually happened? Quantitative easing. Quantitative easing. Inflation goes up. But we need to, we're, we're in an economic downturn right now. We're in an economic downturn. Interesting. A small amount of quantitative easing doesn't even really affect inflation or currency strengths. Wow, this is good. Please tell me that activated. Oh no. Did that stick? Or did I cancel it? I think I think it's on the board somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Wasn't that like a hand? Is this it? Why would it not be in the economy section? Let's go to the next thing, my jig. Uncommitted economy is gone. That's huge. Extradite a terror suspect? Absolutely. Patriots love that. Liberals don't. Strong leader. Getting a good strong. We got a new major, major donor uh, to the party, which is great. Guys, thanks everybody for watching the second episode. We're about halfway through the first uh, election or the first, um, the first term. So hopefully we'll get reelected for a second one. But I don't know at this rate. We have to uh, do some things to get people to uh, to come out and vote or something. I don't know because uh, right now uh, our popularity is pretty low. We do have people uh, in our in our base that do like us like the patriots love us but we need to uh we need to make sure that that translates to a, a winning strategy for the election we have to try uh, mess around with that thanks everybody for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll continue on this conservative theocracy of america in democracy forward